Hey everyone, I'm Paul Jarvis, the co-founder of Fathom Analytics, a simple privacy-focused website analytics tool. Basically, Fathom lets you collect data about your site without spying on anyone, which I think is pretty neat. So today I wanna to walk you through our dashboard and show you some features you may or may not be aware of. Because we're updating things all the time, we're always making Fathom just a little bit better. So let's dive in. So on our dashboard, the first thing I want to show you is the ability to go between light mode and dark mode. So Fathom automatically picks, not automatically, automatically, picks based on your OS settings. If you're in dark mode, it shows you the dark mode. If you're in light mode, it shows you the light mode. But say we want to change this. So we'll click on the cog here, go to account, and then go to force dark mode. And now you'll see the settings and your dashboard is now in dark mode. If we want to change it back to the default, we will click on settings, go to account and go to auto magic. So that'll automatically pick the mode based on your operating system settings. The next thing I want to show you is how to get between sites. So in Fathom, you can create unlimited sites. So on this, we have three sites. So if we click on the name of our site and click on another site, or click on another site, we'll see we can switch between dashboards. And if you'll notice here, we have an all sites button. So if we click on that, you can now see all of the sites on a single page for your dashboard. And if we click and hold this button right here, this little icon, we can drag and drop the order. So if you wanna change the order of the sites, you can click and hold and then pull it and drag it somewhere else. To get back to the dashboard, you just click view site. So now let's talk about this, the date range. So you can click on seven days. You can even click custom range and select a date range in there, which is pretty cool. Let's turn it back to 30 days. And now let's say you wanna zoom in. You wanna see what was happening around here. So you can click and hold on the chart and then you can zoom in to see what was happening on that range. And it zooms in all of the data based on what you clicked and held, which is pretty neat. So let's change it back to 30 days. So now let's talk about the totals box. That's this dark gray box right here. And this shows you totals for your site. So the first thing is people on your site. If you click on it, now you can see all of the people who are currently visiting your site, the page that they're on and where they came from in the refers box here. So if you click on it again, you can hide it. Next, if we look across here, you'll see that there's two dots. There's indicator dots for visitors and views, but there's not for average time bounce rate and event completions, and they're not showing up on the chart. So to change that, we'll just click on each of them. And now it shows all of that data on the chart. If you click on them again, they're hidden. If you click on these two, now none are highlighted. There's no indicators for any of them. The chart disappears. So let's put back on views and visitors. The next thing that you can do is if you click on any of the items here, then it'll filter. And I'll talk about filters in just a second. But say you want to open this page. Well, you do that by holding down command and then clicking. And then you'll see it opens it in a new window. The same with this. You can click on, uh, you can command click on a refer and it opens it in a new window. But now say you want to filter your data. So filtering is basically reorganizing your entire dashboard based on filters you select. So it reorganizes all of the data based on a filter. So let's show you in an example because that makes it a whole lot easier. So we'll click on Google, for example. Now the entire dashboard, including the totals boxes, are filtered just by people who came from Google. So the referrer host name is Google. And now the entire dashboard is filtered by that data. You can add several filters if you want. So now let's say I want to filter by people who came from Google and people who visited the page of Bill of Rights. So now I've got two filters here. Now all of this data relates to these two filters, which is pretty neat. But now say you want to look at all of the data from people who did not come from Google. So we'll click the is and now it's changed it to is not. So now all of this data here is showing you your dashboard for people who did not come from Google. So people who came from anywhere else, like a better browser, like DuckDuckGo or Twitter. So we can clear the filters here and I can carry on with the demo. Next, I wanna show you how to do searching. So if a filter applies 
a filter to the entire dashboard and shows you data based on that filter on the entire dashboard. A search shows you just data in a box that you're searching. So say I'm here and I've got tons of pages and I just want to look for one page to look at the data. So I'll click the search box and I'll type in a word that I want to see and then hit enter. So now there's a purple border around this box, which means we're searching here and it just shows me what I've searched for here. So say I just want to see blog posts. So I'll type in blog, hit enter, and now I'm just seeing content here for blog posts. I can do the same for video and so on. You can clear it right here. The next thing that I want to show you is toggling between actual numbers and percentages. So if you click on any of the numbers, it now changes all of the numbers. It toggles them to percentages, even the comparison values up here. If you click on it again, you're now just seeing numbers instead of percentages. So that's it. Those are all the things I wanted to show you today. There's so much more you can do in Fathom. So if you're not already a customer, I suggest you go to usefathom.com and sign up for a seven day free trial. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.